Um, hi, yeah, welcome to the Innovation Centre in Colchester. My name is Neil. I'm the Innovation Director here. This is the first in a series of Inside the Innovation Centre videos that we're going to be doing. So as you can see, we are inside this amazing space inside the centre in Colchester in Essex. The first video we're going to be doing is with Christian Bucko, and he is part of the Essex startup team. And he is just over there at the moment, way more than two metres away, socially distancing in Studio X. And um, Christian has just started a graphics business. So we thought the best way to start this series off was to um, give him a shout out and do a fireside chat with him and see how he's getting on. So yeah, hi Christian, how are you doing? Absolutely thrilled. So uh, much like you explained already, um, I spend a lot of my time working for Essex startups, uh, helping student businesses. Uh, that's essentially part of this space. Uh, what it also doubles as is essentially my working space for my graphic design business. Uh, but more on that in a second. Neil? I think it's good to kind of explain. We can just see a robot on the wall there. So what is that? What's going on there? So that is actually a creation of uh, one of our student entrepreneurs. Um, as Essex is a big university, we had a, a, a couple of uh, big shots in terms of the startup community. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, he invented, uh, well, not invented, he started a company um, called Amy Robotics. This is one of his creations, or should I say a depiction of his creation. Uh, we've got an actual version uh, roaming the holes somewhere in the innovation center, but that, that's on Neil. He should he should know where. Yeah, no, she's packed. She's packed away at the moment, just saving energy <laughs> and kind of welcome people back. But, um, so I guess that's on the wall there to kind of that's one of those beacons to say we must keep these people in Essex, right? Because otherwise they disappear back to China or wherever. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, he was just um, one of uh, you know several others. We also you can't quite see it here. I mean, you can only catch a glimpse of it. So there's a depiction of a bike with a bike in front of it. Uh, that's actually my bike. Uh, another um, Essex uh, graduate. Again, very big. If you go to London, I'm sure you'll see uh, the bikes everywhere. They're, they're just decorating the streets right now. So yeah, all pretty cool stuff. All cool stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go back to your business then. So what is your what's your new business? What's its name? And yeah, just tell me a bit more about it. Yeah, so um, for a while now, I've been working on a graphic design business. It's called uh, Oco Design. And very much, um, I, I would like to say, like, can you have a business but with a bit more creativity to it? Um, when I look at the graphic design industry out there, a lot of people are out there and they're, and they're doing work for it, but they're quite corporate with it. And now it's good to be formal. It's good to be uh, strict with things, but I think people still lack that creativity. Uh, with my business, what I bring in is uh, a bit of uniqueness when I work with people. Uh, I like to use uh, that creative side uh, I have and I had for, for a number of years now uh, in order to provide people, again, with something new, with something that well, makes them different than other businesses out there. Yeah, okay. So kind of, I, I guess, give, give me some idea of the examples of work you've done, because just to let everyone know that the Innovation Centre inside the Innovation Centre logo, you've, you've designed for us, haven't you? So just talk to us about, I guess, that logo, how, how you came up with that, but also who you've worked with in the past. Yeah, so uh, in terms of my work in, in the creative industries, uh, I had a, uh, before I even started the graphic design company, uh, I did a number of uh, works in the past. Uh, some of them, you know, bigger than others. Um, I, I did stop motion animation. Uh, I did digital um, illustration, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so I was in there for quite a number of years anyway of my life. It was like a huge hobby that I then transformed into a business. In terms of the business side, uh, I worked with uh, all manner of businesses from weird to wonderful, from people who started their own uh, investment platforms online, sort of designing branding for that, designing logos for that, which obviously by nature of it is quite formal. You can imagine that the, the types of logos and the type of, types of stuff that I designed of that would have a certain feel to it. Uh, to other types of businesses um, like uh, male skincare and grooming products, for example. Uh, again, like quite an interesting one. Uh, so all my- That sounds like you can turn your hand to anything then if you're doing that. Sorry? <laughs> that sounds, sounds like, like you can turn your, hand, turn your hand to anything if you're doing male grooming products. Yeah, <laughs> as you can notice, my skin is very good since I've done that project. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, again, 
uh, I have my favorites. I have my favorite um, sort of types of logos and types of companies that I like working with for, for a number of reasons. Um, in terms of the Innovation Center logo, if you look at it, its design, they just give you a quick demonstration. Um, I went by the book with this one. I didn't want to upset the, the brand uh, gods, as it were, the already existing people and the already existing brands in place. Everything was done by the book. Anyone who's worth, uh, you know, um, anything, uh, any graphic designer that knows this stuff. Yeah, don't, don't you start messing with their color palettes. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. alarms will be going off. You'll be out here and now. I'm already getting twitchy listening to this. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, any any graphic designer that already has been in there knows that everything should be followed once it sets in place and it shouldn't be touched. As this is a new uh, piece that sort of deviates from the existing brand. Again, it's a classic piece. I fit it in with the already existing brands and brand brand guidelines as it were but again it's new as a new new spin to it but yeah so so yeah no we're really happy with it. it looks great so i guess what have you got an ideal client then because they, they always say work you know pick a niche and stick to it but i guess as, as you're starting out you're and you, uh, with this kind of industry you can probably work with anybody so um as in like what, what what is the next step or, uh, or what i'm trying to do with the graphic design business? yeah so, so who's your who's your kind of ideal customer ideal client ideal company to work with um so again like i can work with uh, pretty much anyone uh, as I've, i have in the past i've worked with again loads of different businesses um and i'd encourage pretty much anyone i, I would obviously be quite straight whether i would be happy to work with someone or not Again, quite happy with, to work with most people. Um, but again, my favorites are uh, companies that develop uh, tangible goods or tangible products. Um, I feel like when you get a product like that, when you design the logo, when you design the, the, the branding, or you design uh, well, the visuals for it, you can uh, do a mock-up of the product. So um, you, you grab a, a white label product, you stick the new label on it using Photoshop or something else, and there it is, and it comes to life. And again, uh, it's not really instant gratification because it takes hours, but again, when you stick that label on it, it's almost like that because you can see the, the result of it more instantly. It's, it's much more interesting. The logo comes to life. So very different. Cool. Uh, but again, I work with a variety of people. So That sounds great. That sounds really good. So let's do a little plug and kind of, you know, how can people get in touch with you? Website, email, phone number blood type whatever you want to do yeah blood type yeah i accept yeah blood types <laughs> <laughs> um but the best way to contact me is through my uh, website that's ocodesign.net um, you can find contact details there uh, if you want to contact me uh, directly again uh, this information is on my website uh, that's business at ocodesign.net and again, um, feel free to reach out to me with uh, any sort of requests that you have in terms of uh, actual work or, or even on the other hand, just advice. If you need some advice, if you're looking for someone that would just give you some guidance with regards to whether you're doing something properly in graphic design, uh, more than happy to lend a hand on that as well, because a lot of people feel a bit lost when it comes to that. But yeah. Perfect. So yeah, this is going out on YouTube. There'll be more videos like this over the next kind of weeks, months, um, showcasing what's going on inside the centre as and when it happens. Um, we've got the business school next door, we're on the Knowledge Gateway, we've got SME, so we'll, we'll get those kind of people involved as well. But I think the main thing to say is that we are still open for business. Um, we are COVID safe. So if you do want to get in contact with us, let us know, visit our website. Um, we'll stick my details and, and Christian's contact details at the end of this um, video as well. But what I'd say is, like everyone says, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So there'll be some really good content coming out over the next few weeks so yeah um great first session so yeah catch up soon christian and yeah see everybody soon bye thank you very much everyone yeah thank you